Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. It's time for... Oh, Phantom Ganon. Not a maze game, but almost time for a maze game. Technically speaking, it's Phantom Ganon is a part of a maze. But anyway, um, Phantom Ganon's are kind of a little bit different in this. First off, he has this attack. I don't think he had that before. <laughs> Missiles. It, it Magic is possible. Missile. <laughs> it's actually possible to uh, deflect that. I tried doing it with the spin attack. I know I've done it before, I just didn't do it this time. Yeah, it's possible to deflect all those back, but, but not you easy. Had to, like, deflect all of them and that will actually damage him. And really not worth it because the only way to... Well, the best way to beat him is to just to do it. Wait for this. Well, actually, no, there's a better way, and I should have done that, but I didn't. What's the uh, better when, way? Well, you'll see. I actually do it later. Please but, enlighten us. You'll, you'll see. All right, Be all right. patient. Fine. Anyway, again, he's easy to kill. Now, what you want to do is follow the hilt, uh, yes. the direction the hilt points, as the hint gave. So, the hilt pointed at this door, that means this is the correct door to go into. Right. <laughs> the hilt of his yeah, sword will point at a door every time you beat him. Now, I think if you go in wrong doors, it's like door of the mob one or something. Yeah, I was just going to say that. If you go in the wrong doors, you'll either just be transported back to the start, or there'll be rooms full of enemies. So, Which there's, I know there's like a room of mob ones, there's a room of dark nuts. But, I mean, there's no real reason to go in there unless you want to fight them. Yeah, there's really no reason. Fight all the moblins! <laughs> this is kind of a continuous Phantom Ganon fight throughout all these rooms. I always like this part. And not just because it's a maze. Kind of. Yeah, the only thing that it's kind of like you, you exit the room after the... Or, like, you beat him, you uh, the blast music starts, start, stops, you exit the room, and then it starts up right again. It's kind of like... Like, every time you hear it, it's like, Oh, come on, are you dead yet? <laughs> are you dead yet? I don't know, I like it. I think they could have kept... They should have kept the boss music playing, I think. Yeah. Oh, this again. But then it wouldn't be a surprise when he showed up. Oh, well, that's true. But you know he's gonna show up. How can you not figure you it out by now? You don't know that. Now? How do it's you like, know? They okay, in the next room there's gonna be... Not Phantom Ganon. Oh, it's Phantom Ganon again. <laughs> no, no, in the next room it just ends up being like some random enemy. Link's grandmother. <laughs> Link's grandmother. <laughs> She's floating around throwing balls at you. Someone should make a hack of this and put Link's grandmother in place of Phantom Ganon. <laughs> fun of her so much. Or just she's switch the two characters in the game. She's a nice lady. Or mod it where she starts to heal. <laughs> Have Phantom Ganon be the grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> so Phantom Ganon would be like, I made you some nice <laughs> soup, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Okay. Okay, now... When Phantom Ganon appears in like this order, one of them is the real one. So if you hit the real one, you can kill it without having to deal with the whole tennis thing. That's the best way. Yes, Yay. that is true. However, sometimes it won't appear. He won't appear in that formation. If he does, though, make sure to try and slice them as quickly as possible to find the real one. Actually, no, the real one appears. So if you're quick enough, you can. Yeah, if you're yeah, quick before... enough. Yeah, before he disappears for good or he goes in the sky, the real one is there. So oh. make sure to just slice him. Bars. Here okay, here we go. This is for reals. It's time for tennis for two. Tennis for two. In 3D. <laughs> it's not a 3D. In space. In space. On, On ice. ice. <laughs> for limited time only. Thank you. I, I <laughs> figured that was the correct door. <laughs> Aha. Now, this is the final... I guess upgrade. But the, the final, final upgrade thing. item, whatever you want to call it, that we get the in the thing. game. Final thing. It's the ball and chain. It's the ball and chain. The final Finally. thing. It's your grandmother. <laughs> it's the light arrows. They look kind of cool in this game. They do. Uh, light arrows... Okay, here's the thing with the light arrows. Basically, at this point, if you fire a light arrow at any of Ganon's minions, they die in one shot. Unfortunately, I forgot this fact, so um, I won't really make use of this. But you can use it to kill any of the minions in one shot, instead of like actually fighting them. Yep, and that applies for both down here, or if you go back to the overworld, you can do it up there, too. It seems kind of odd that Ganon would pretty much give you the oh. weapon to his demise. Oh, oh, he's still here. Ah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> trouble, blah, blah, blah. Epic I don't know, fate. do you have to kill him with a light arrow, or can you yeah, just... Yeah, you do, you have to kill him with a light arrow. Okay. What happens if you, like, don't kill him with a light arrow? Does he just... He just keeps reappearing. Yeah, but all you need is a sword, though. I, I don't know. <laughs> I anyway, use the sword now. to break open the door. Or, not only a door, it's a wall. 
And then the sword just disappears. <laughs> Aww. I like being well, a phantom That would be cool sword. if you could use that big sword. I mean, yeah. it, it might be even be stronger than the master sword. The master sword couldn't break that wall. <laughs> but the I'm phantom sword... I'm not sure why sword. that sword can break that wall. The phantom sword. We can call it the phantom sword. The phantom sword is a thing, I believe. It's in phantom hourglass. Well, that is also the phantom sword. Well, it probably is. It's Phantom Gin sword. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the, these pots have magic and arrows, so basically, yeah, just use the light arrows uh, if you don't enjoy fighting these guys. Just use the light arrows to kill them in one shot, or just or just ignore them for that matter. You can just, yeah, or just run past them. But um, because you don't really need to fight them, but I fought all of them just for fun. For fun, it is fun, <laughs> and also for hearts. You don't really need hearts at this. I don't think you get any drops if you kill them with the light arrows. That is one thing. Yeah, not that you need. Drops. Not that you need enemy drops at this point, but it's just I something really wanted that skull necklace. <laughs> <laughs> something to point out. Oh hi! Uh, dark nut. Another dark nut, like the one in the Savage Labyrinth, Final Four. It's hilarious when you use the light arrows in the dark nuts because you just hit them with an arrow and they just die. They <laughs> die. But like they have armor on. You would think like, I guess to be honest though, it is the main. It's weird how the, the Sword of Evil's Bane is not as effective as killing enemies pot on the face, but um, pots, it's not yes. as effective as killing enemies as the light arrows. Clay pots have been very good weapons in the Zelda series. Not if, so much in these ones, if but Link definitely for the in the was any indication. <laughs> yeah, at least the patch, you could kill, use the pots to like kill Stalfos in one hit. Yep. I think, what, yeah, one hit. I it's, should know, because I did, I did a whole... Yeah, I did that game. and see, somebody thought of that. <laughs> Some, somebody, somebody thought that picking up clay pots and throwing them in enemies was funny. And it is funny. They were right. Hello, Moblins. I should just shoot you, but... Past me forgot that you could do that. <laughs> Mega in the past. Omega <laughs> to the past. <laughs> when it's your kids, Mega. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a bunch of items. It would be movies. such a massive dick move if, like, they put like a bunch of four masters here. <laughs> you could just use, but you could use the light arrows. They really should well, I do know, that. But, like, be really you funny. know, if you forgot that. <laughs> and here we have two mighty dark nuts. Now, again, I forgot about the light arrows, so I'm going to actually take SM's advice and show you after I leave them alone <laughs> uh, that you can fire arrows at them. Yes, you can use fire arrows to burn their capes. Well, part of my thing was like this is what I, like I had light arrows on, and so I was trying to switch to the fire arrows. <laughs> Again, I thought the light arrows. I don't want to kill anything. them in one hit. <laughs> I want to actually like show them mercy. Mercy. We'll talk about mercy after you. I was gonna say water <laughs> all the floors in Hyrule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it goes. But anyway, um. I was trying to get them to turn around so I could fire at them, but that wasn't really working. <laughs> well, turn around. I'm going. But Aww. instead I decided just to shoot through his legs. Or yeah. behind him. Yeah, just do that. And their capes burn off. And you now can take their exposed. armor off, and then they're very easy. But again, you... You guys can take these guys down in one hit, or you could just again ignore them and just walk into the door. You could do that. You could also just ignore them and walk into the door. Actually, no. Probably, you might not be able to. They might like attack you. No, I mean the door might be locked. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, I think you're right. The door is locked. So you do have to kill these guys, but you can kill them one shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's more fun to take them down this way. It really is. Enjoy I it mean, while you can, because we're almost at the end of this game, so... Like, there, there's a line between when convenience is the ideal choice to take, and then when it's just kind of boring. Like, it's just like overkill. It just, yeah, it's like... Yep. Yeah, so it does have to open the door. Hence, like, killing mini blends with skull hammers. Like, <laughs> you could do it with the sword and take significantly less damage and do it a lot faster, but... They make funny noises when you kill them with the skull hammer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, like, we're going to be making use of our light arrows in this boss battle. Oh, spoilers, it's the boss battle. <laughs> Way to spoil it, Mega. Well, I didn't realize it was going to be a boss battle. A big <laughs> ominous door in the middle of a long hallway. Never could have been. that. Well, well, what else would it be? Link's grandmother. <laughs> She's not everywhere. I've made you some soup, honey. And how she did just she, dies. How'd she get down here? How did the king Demon of Orange get down here? <laughs> 
See? Ooh, Nobody knows. Why is there a bed knows. in the middle of a lake? <laughs> or not a lake, but a puddle. puddle. Soon there's going to be red lighting, sexy music, and then he's going to go, I've been watching what? you from afar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is Ganon over oh, Zelda. near Zelda in bed? This is kind of creepy. It's not creepy. It's, You're talking it's about just, Lenzo. <laughs> it's just real life. This do is, you sleep still? <laughs> what do you think video game bosses do when they capture princesses? Like, uh, no, seriously. No, 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 no. We're going to listen to the dialogue. <laughs> Epic. Fine. I'm going to read Ganon's dialogue. I can see this girl's dreams. I dream a dream. No. <laughs> oceans, oceans. <laughs> Oceans, as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. Well, there's fishmen. <laughs> what did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods stealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? Huh. How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? They have fools in this game? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see, all of you? Your gods destroyed you! Also, creepy face. And he has been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes. For the hero. Whenever he says that, he makes me feel as though he has a southern accent. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, boy. <laughs> Liking DD. <laughs> I need a monster to kill that Whoa. bear. Well, speaking Mega. of monsters. Um. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. We sign up for this. <laughs> uh, that's not really scary. <laughs> uh, okay, that is Honestly, not scary. Also, you gotta wonder what happened to Zelda if the curtain, like, how that made the bed left up because Zelda's no longer there. Whatever. But anyway, this is why Ganondorf is one of my favorite Ganondorfs, because he has epic dialogue at the end. Like, that that's really well-written, characterized dialogue. Anyway, Puppet it's Ganon. Like... He's a puppet. I don't know why they went with <laughs> Puppet Ganon, like, they couldn't have thought of anything better, but... I don't know. It's, it's an interesting, unique boss. Definitely silly, unique. but... But I don't know. It's a little silly. Anyway, first phase is the pig Ganon phase. Uh, basically, you want to cut down its wires. And you want to specifically cut down the tail. I don't think you have to cut down all of them. You just definitely want to cut down the tail. It makes it easier if you cut down like the hands, though, I believe. Yeah. Um, it's For whatever reason, like when I was trying to cut down the tail, I was like, the tail cut took two hits to get. Is that true? Yeah, that is always true. Okay. The tail actually takes two hits. So, like, this part isn't too bad, but it can be kind of... I guess... Yeah, because it'll do this a lot of times. It's not really annoying, it's more of just kind of, like... I guess annoying is the right word. It's not hard, though, it's just... Annoying. Yeah, annoying. Just like taxes. And light arrow. Light arrow at the tail. And <laughs> it mystically has electrical and then properties bats. now. <laughs> The music here's not all that. Like the music for this pig is not. Yeah, he's talking to the keys. Oh no, you're talking to the bat. <laughs> Look at yeah, the, the keys that poor bat annoying. has no idea the boomerang's about to fly at it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. Kick it. Yeah, they get annoying because they'll get in the way of your attacks. Yeah. I wanted yeah, to get really... blindsided by the boomerang. I think that would have been funny. Not much else to say for this boss. Also, pot. There's a warp pot too. Yeah. You could, could you jump in it during the boss battle? I guess. It wouldn't take you anywhere, though, because... No, it wouldn't. I'm not sure what would happen. Yeah, when you cut all its strings, I guess sometimes it'll go back up to fix itself, so unfortunately that's what happened there. Yeah, you do have a bit of a... Not a time limit, I guess, but... After you cut off its tail, you do have to get it quick. Well, I think not it's not even its just tail, its tail. But... I think it's every string. Maybe it's just its tail. But I think it definitely when you cut off all of its strings. Because, like, right here, it's not fixing itself. Yeah, that's true. And I was totally missing. Also, I'd recommend bringing uh, either a green potion or a blue potion into this battle. Well, so you can heal your magic, magic. Magic bottles occasionally, too, though. Yeah, he does drop magic bottles, but I don't know. Good to have if you're not all that accurate with the bow. Because some of those I'm shots not... can be pretty tricky. 
Yeah, I'm not too bad, but some of you know, he's constantly moving and it can be kind of difficult. This one's not too, well, I don't want to keep saying this one. There is phases to this battle, but uh this isn't too bad. No, it's not too bad. Battle's exposed. I keep missing there. <laughs> it's just a little weird puppet cannon. I don't know. I, you, well what what would you what would you have it be? I was then? gonna say, even though a lot of people criticize Ganondorf and Twilight Princess for not being in it very much. Okay, I'll, I'll give that. The, the Beast Ganon is cool. The battle against um, with the wolf line, that, that was a cool battle. I'll, I'll give you 100% yeah, I like that battle. Yeah. You just I think there was way too many phases because there was like, it's Zelda's or Ganon's puppet and then, oh, Beast we Ganon. Won. Ganon Wait. on a horse, then Ganon's sword. <laughs> so many Ganon. The song. <laughs> and yeah, the song kind of fakes you the out. The song is a lie. It's like the song is a lie. It's actually Spider Ganon. Spider Ganon, Spider Ganon. Does whatever a spider Ganon does. Anyway, here you want to ideally look into the reflection. That's the best way to do this battle. You could technically yep. look up, but why would you ever do that? Yeah, there wouldn't be any point to do that. And this battle is the easiest, has the best music, and is the most fun. It really is. This is the easiest form of this boss. And it has the best music, in my because each phase has different music, and I really like the music for this. Yeah. Unfortunately, the bats were distracting me from getting over to Ganon. The bats are very distracting. <laughs> Boomerang to the face. Yeah, and luckily they dropped magic potions. So they but, were helpful bats. Yes, they were helpful bats. But still annoying. So if, you, so if you pay attention, you should be able to like take this with no damage, except the bats might distract you. Yeah. It's a really simple battle, this one. I don't know. After playing games like Castlevania, you can't really look at bats the same way again. So goddamn annoying. <laughs> that was close. How did the bat survive, though? Well, I don't know, can bats, I guess they could get killed by a spider again. I guess like, you think it could get fall flattened in, but... or something. And there it goes. Oh, that was close. Somehow it didn't get in there. And the last and most obnoxious phase. Yeah, this is this definitely by far the... Basically, it's similar, like, anyone who hated the, the boss in Link's the Past that was like this, yeah, this boss is annoying. I oh, hate this now, damn boss. The one thing have, is, it, it can't knock you off a platform and force you to redo the whole battle. Yeah, true. But the, okay, the thing with this, I'm trying to aim right here. Basically, there's a few ways you can go about this battle. You can either hit its head and stun it, which is effective, I, I, and I'll keep using the boomerang. It doesn't do anything, I thought it did, so don't do that. But, yeah, I, I personally just like to go to the, for the tail myself. But like, yeah, you can either try and, oh yeah, the friends are here. Um, but, what? Uh, yeah, there's friends. But you can either uh, just aim and get lucky. Why are they here? Friends! Hey. <laughs> I just noticed. Because they love you. Because they had to be for the finale. They had to be in the finale of the second video of the finale. But um, anyway, you can either hit its head and then stun it for a second and quickly uh, hit its tail with the arrows. You can either just get lucky and try aiming from afar. Or supposedly there's a method, which I never actually see in action, where you can use bait to distract him, but I don't know, that's silly. I'd rather that's just... That's silly. I'd rather just, uh, like, do that. Yeah, that's, that's how I usually do it. It is effective to try and, like, use the skull hammer or the sword to uh, hit its head and then, you know, stop it so you can quickly uh, aim at its tail. But, um, you, you had to be quick on that, too, because it doesn't stop for that long. Yeah, this one is... it's it's kind of annoying. Not too bad, How'd though. That one? You can end up taking a lot of damage. I think each time he hits you, it does, what, a full heart? Um, yeah, th maybe. So you could end up taking a lot of damage. Especially with those stupid things slowing you down. The friends. Okay. There we go. There we go. But that's Not it too bad. the cannon. Gonna bounce around a bit. <laughs> His tail's going like... Whoa. Spin around a bit. See, Spin around. Was kind of a test by Ganon for us. So we we beat the game, right? No, it was Puppet Ganon. It wasn't Ganon. But Ganon well, turned into Puppet Ganon. He doesn't know that. Now he does. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Yes, surely you are the hero of time, reborn, remastered. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Love the sound effect there. Your time has come. Come now. Stand before me. And 
He can fly. Come on, bro. He can fly. He can fly. He can fly. He can fly. Why? Why can he fly? <laughs> I don't know. There's not really any explanation. A for better why. question guess, is why couldn't he fly? I guess to be fair, he can fly in, in time games. too. Like in the final battle, he flies in that one too. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, and no one really questioned it. No one questioned the fact that Gandorf could fly. I guess magic, but... Not any magic. Demon Ganondorf magic. Ganondorf magic. <laughs> Ganon magic. Ganon magic. But, um... You gotta wonder, like, he would... He, you need the grappling hook. Yeah, that's still relevant. Or not grappling... Yeah, you need the grappling hook, I think, at this yeah, point. Yeah, grappling hook. That's, that's still relevant at this point, but, like, what if you didn't have that item? How would you get up? It'd be like, stand before me. Well, I kind of can't get up, but... <laughs> <I> can't <laughs> can you give me a lift, bro? <laughs> so you climb oh, up that wrong right. ass again, rope. flies down and picks you up. It's like the, uh, the climb from Metal Gear Solid. It plays Snake Eater. I haven't played that. Well, you climb up this long ass ladder, and it plays a special song for just climbing up that ladder. It's so damn long. Anyway. I mean, it's kind of cool, but... And you definitely don't want to fall, because it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, when I was young, I used to just fall off this, because I would make stupid jumps. And yeah. fall off the chandelier. Well, when I was young, like, when did the game come out? 2003? Yep. Um, so I'd be 13. When you were a youngin'. That's not really young. Is 13 considered young? I guess, technically. I don't know. I mean, I'm only 21, so, like, that would, how many is that? Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, right. that'll refill up not all of your health and magic, but a good portion of it. So I've been eight years ago. So I would like to think I've gained skill since eight years. I don't know if SM has. <laughs> yeah, I'm a slow learner. And I... Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, the commentary will now, will now digress to just... To just grunts and, and random noises. Because climbing is boring. Okay, here's the other warp pot. Yeah, you can use that as a shortcut. Now so now you don't have to climb up. You can just jump in the warp pot. and. Also, I believe there's more friends up here. Yeah. Why? <laughs> they love you. They wanted to, to support you for the final battle to come. No, screw you. Just kill them. Also, fairy. Mr. Fairy. Fairy. I'm going to say that every time. I see a fairy in a Zelda game now. A, what have you done to me? <laughs> I didn't tingle do that. Forced me to do that tingle knuckle quest, and then every time you, now, you I'm had say, so much fun. Mr. Anyway, Fairy. we need the hook shot now. Hook shot. And, and we can't reach this that. is pretty ominous, so you can probably guess what's coming up. You know, tea just party. inside this hallway. <laughs> a tea party. <laughs> yes, a tea party. So next time in the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker, it's a tea party. Yep. Tea for so. two. <laughs> See you guys then for the final tea party.